John McGreal goes in search of his first win as interim boss of Ipswich Town in his last game as the caretaker manager. It's a side sitting pretty in Skybet League One at the moment, Sunderland. Black Hats remain in the promotion hunt level of points with second place Wigan Athletic. Enjoy first away trip from the stadium of life this month. Come to the Black Cats. Their last four outings have all been on the comfort of home soil, hoping to add to their six game unbeaten run in the division. But this could be a tough task on the road. The rowdy atmosphere here at Portman Road. On halfway from the Sunderland player, Morsey tries to play it across field. Bonds header. If he'd let it go, it might have been a better option. He's won it back there well, but then not enough on the ball trying to find. Penny far side, cleared by Sunderland. Evans with a volley pass forward. Bond gives it to Aluko. Town have started the better. Eight minutes gone. Now it's Burns one on one with Gooch. Drops a shoulder, takes him on, bursts into the area. Touch back from Norwood, and then Burns hits it first time. Danassian near side, effectively in the right back slot, turns away from Broadhead, then dinks a ball in field towards Norwood. Norwood with a touch to the right, lovely play from Town. Burns is onto it, he's going to try and get away from Doyle. He's got away from Doyle, wide right, in comes the ball to the far post, has to be a goal! Oh, Penny! It's over the top, but that was a great opportunity. Here's Burns just waiting for the ball to be returned to him near side. Here's Burns. There's a Luco near to him. Bon, not a million miles away. And Morsey gives it to his captain, Morsey to Burns. Infield to a Luco, shifts it quickly to Morsey. Morsey into the box to Bon. Bon plays it into the centre, deflected, and it's headed in! It's Norwood! Two goals in two league games for James Norwood and Portman Road erupts. It's 1-0 to Ipswich against Sunderland and it's no more than Ipswich Town deserve. Yeah, they thoroughly deserve that because of what they've done right the way through the half. Arrowed down Portman Road, Bond heads it on, Norwood's gone after the ball. Flanagan's there with a bit of time to just cushion it. Little layoff to his left and Hume. Hume, ball forward to Pritchard, Pritchard with a layoff, Sunderland have it on halfway with Neil, nutmegs Evans, Broadhead's making a run, Broadhead in on goal, chance for 1-1, good finish, really good finish from Broadhead, low into the corner of the net, he's had an untidy start to this second half, driving forward, let's play forward, Sunderland have Stewart in on goal, Stewart dinks it over the top of Walton, that was what he intended to do, Walton made a really good save, good goalkeeping and he clearly is a very good goalkeeper Christian Walton headed on by Bond back from Norwood to Morsey Morsey trying to get inside the area it's just gone away from him out as far as Aluko Aluko sets himself drives it against Flanagan Evans turns it back but straight into the path of Winchester Aluko nicks it back off of Hume Aluko to the right hand side better from town Burns has Danassian on the overlap Burns hasn't used him he's crossed in instead towards Bond who Heads the ball down into the ground and wide. Ipswich with a Luco outside the Sunderland box, stands on the ball, plays it square to Morsey, tees himself up, drives the ball against the Sunderland player Embleton. Then out to the left, Vincent Young inside the area, tries to pick out the top corner, curl beyond the far post. Damasian with a throw and four, Ipswich town. Can they have one last final flourish? Chaplin battling for the ball, Neil gets the better of him. Winchester with a header up to halfway, nodded up towards the penalty spot by Stewart. Morsey's on the ball. Morsey to the left hand side, Vincent Young in some space in behind his opponent. Vincent Young step over, gets inside the box, goes to the byline, pulls it back towards Chaplin, blocked away.